when there are complaints, when there are scandals, it's very easy for people to say, well, this seems to be an exception to the rule. Author Michael Dawson says the RCMP's efforts to promote a positive image have allowed it to avoid reforms. We're talking about an organization with its own Wikipedia page dedicated to a history of controversies. From early 20th century novels all the way to Netflix, you may find it difficult not to trust the officer in red. I'm the mountain. I'm handsome, I'm brave, I'm strong. One exception, Quebec wrestler Jacques Rougeau's early 1990s villain or heel character, the Mountie. Who marches into the ring uh, to do battle carrying a cattle prod. Well, this is not the image that the RCMP wants circulating uh, in the public. But the RCMP realizes in the, in the late 1980s, early 1990s, there's not much that the police force can do if uh, an international company decides that they want to use the image in ways that the RCMP doesn't like. And that convinces the RCMP that it needs to find a way to try and control the use of its image. Rougeau, now retired, could not wear his full costume or use his popular character's name while performing in Canada. The public enforcement of the RCMP's image was underway. All right, not interested? I'll catch you later. Canadian actor Paul Gross claimed in a 2006 documentary that the television pilot for Due South needed RCMP approval before producers went forward with the series. The Walt Disney Company spent the rest of the 1990s managing licensing rights. And the past two decades have provided more examples of the officer who always gets his man. From Upper Canada College alumnus Brendan Fraser's feature film portrayal of Dudley do right to a host of television and streaming content. 100th grade cup, two beautiful Mounties. I couldn't ask for more. The image of the Mountie hasn't just endured. It's considered more valuable to Canada than hockey. A 2013 StatsCan survey revealed that only the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the flag, and national anthem were valued more by Canadians. It has the capacity um, to, to adjust to the, the blows from a hammer. Rob Gordon is a professor of criminology at Simon Fraser University. He agrees that public perception has allowed the RCMP to distance itself from the cavalry model it was based on. You know, we can Disneyize the whole thing, but the fact of the matter is that um, they were part of that imperial quest, um, which we still now are continuously apologizing for. They'll ride it out. It's the, the Disneyization of the RCMP is always going to, to win. John Haddon, Global News.